what you're looking at is the top panel for a stay right heater. Uh, this is a natural gas unit, but I think it would be the same for any type of unit uh, with these matching buttons. The control panel is no longer functional. It's what they call a 42001-0055, and it's no longer made by the manufacturer. There's a generic, it's about $100 you can buy, but in my particular instance, I do not use the filter pump, the aux 1, aux 2 buttons. There's a generic version that does not have those that you can buy online, which seems to correlate to a number 42002-0029Z. Um, I was looking at the manual, and if you look, you can actually plug in a six pin version that disables automation, it says. So I'm thinking that those are the key buttons that would be available on every control panel. So I tried it. The other thing I did is you can actually push this yellow button right here and cycle through the potential controls that you would implement when you're turning the heater on through the control panel. Uh, and I had success at least verifying that the, the heater was still functional by using these, this button here. Um, so I'm going to switch it out and see if it works. Make sure when you're installing it, the pins match the first six in the set closest to the button. So here's the old board that I took out, I installed the new one. What I found was, is if you hold it up to a light source, you can actually see the light properly through the holes to make sure you've got everything lined up properly. Now I'll take it outside and get it hooked up. Okay, so I've wired everything back up. There's a little close up here. Um, I haven't taken the, the heater back apart, but you have to permanently put this back in place you need to use some carter pins and you have to take the panel off to take the whole panel off um, so let's test it here uh, make sure you turn the breaker off before you rewire it back up R3 that seems to be the standard behavior and now with the on button. Stand up. Head down. One heater on.